Hey guys, these things and this is not gonna be uh, any game specifically video but I just wanna say thank you guys cause we finally hit 500 subscribers and yeah I'm very very grateful to you guys like without you guys this couldn't happen and yeah I never never imagined for me to even hit like 100 let alone 500 so yeah I really am very grateful for you guys support and in this video I just want to go through a bit of the channels channel update and what are my plans for the future and hopefully any improvements that you guys will give me so we can help improve this channel so yeah I think okay so let me just do a quick recap, recap of what I started out last time so when I created this channel I initially I was just making a video where I mean since I'm already playing this uh, One Piece Bounty Rush and I kind of I enjoyed it a lot so why not when people ask uh, questions so why not just create a guide about it and oh my god I can't focus okay so yeah why not just make a video and just so that when they want to look for any guides they can just search on YouTube and hopefully there is one available for them and yeah apparently it turned out much better than expected so yeah then um there's also one more thing that i wanted to like do that i don't think much uh youtubers actually do but yeah maybe it's just because uh, i'm a small channel only so basically my goal is to like when you have any questions and you comment in the comment section i'll try my best to answer to every single one of them so yeah and that that pretty much was like another of my goal so i see that sometimes in uh, youtube right people ask questions and usually they don't really it's other uh, viewers that commented on it and yeah so i kind of want to make it so that i mean because because when you're commenting right you wanted that guy to reply you so i think it's only natural for them to just uh reply so yeah that's that's pretty much my basis and uh it turned out pretty good because like a lot of you guys have been commenting and i try my best to uh like comment back to you guys so forgive me if i actually missed out maybe one or two like i didn't know that they actually filtered the comments for the youtube so i was like what oh my god wait okay never mind okay so yeah okay give me a moment okay so currently i think i'm still trying my best to reply okay even though my reply might not be like uh within an hour or so i'll just try to make it so that i can at least reply one day before like yeah so okay so that pretty much was my plan and yeah it turned out pretty well okay so they, okay, let's talk about the what 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 are some of the ideas that I'm thinking of having. So, okay, the first one would be the oh my god. Okay, the first one first one would be the monthly tier list. So, as you guys know, each season for uh, One Piece Bounty Rush, right, lasts quite um 
it lasts quite f uh, fast, I'll say. Uh, I can't even remember what's the duration. It's only like a few weeks, I think. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, usually when I make another one, right, there will be another uh, tier list that comes out already. So yeah, then I feel like can't be, can't be. You watch the same characters for every season, even though like they only release one or two characters. So that's why I'm thinking about actually doing this uh, monthly tier list thing where. It's gonna be a month where so let's say I'm gonna start it at July so I'll make a July tier list so during this July tier list there'll be all the characters that then okay so July there'll be one tier list and August there'll be another tier list so yeah basically that's that Ooh. Okay, so as I was saying, a monthly tier list might actually be decent because how the like okay every month usually they come out about two or three new characters. So I feel like if it's a monthly tier list, most likely I can okay it won't be just the same like the tier list won't be just only one new character etc but two or three new characters so yeah tell me tell me about how you feel about this one so yeah definitely definitely let me know so okay a uh, next one will be oh my, okay the okay so obviously i hit five no 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 okay damn it i hit 500 subscribers right i feel I'll be doing a giveaway and the details I will let you guys know in another video. It's not so fast I'll okay maybe next week I'll post the video so yeah. Then okay. So the giveaway I think I'll be giving away about 10 A5 uh ten dollar gift cards. So yeah, not everybody will get something but uh, it's just a bit of my appreciation. Okay, so next will be the... Okay, improvement. So, I would like to hear you guys, like, any suggestion you guys would like to give. Like, more brains is better than one brain. So, <laughs> I know the saying is not like that, but yeah. So, it's roughly like that, you know. So it's basically you uh like all the viewers out there you guys definitely have better ideas and I'm sure you guys have been watching other videos too so definitely let me let me know if there's like anything you guys want to see like instead of just character review summonings and that's all so yeah then in the future I'm actually planning to do some uh, live streaming so yeah at the moment okay if you are wondering why i didn't do any live streaming on youtube it's because youtube actually has this um requirement where you have to have i think 1000 subscribers i think to be able to uh, stream on youtube but i don't think twitch has this thing so Maybe if you guys want to like play along where we can like hop on and get on some uh, private matches. So yeah, feel free to let me know and oh yeah, do let me know your, your time zones because like okay currently now the uh how does how, how will I say okay when I post this video it will roughly be about 10 or 11 p.m. at night so yeah um, just let me know your time zones like my time zone is actually UTC plus 8 I think yeah so it's basically one hour 
later than the Japanese servers. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, so do let me know your time zone so that I can, like, kind of see what time is appropriate for streaming. Obviously, um... Then, yeah, basically I can make preparations on... If I want to do a stream, then maybe you guys can hop on. Yeah, and we can ask more questions from there. Oh my god, the screen. Okay, so... Okay. So, okay, some suggestions that I saw the... Uh, Forgiven Relief. So if you don't know, he's also another One Piece Bounty Rush YouTuber. And he's actually... He makes awesome contents. So yeah. What I saw he did was he did this uh, uh coaching thing and it's actually it looks actually fun to be honest. Like okay, because um if you actually play Overwatch and you actually went to see the YouTube contents, they actually do this uh survey uh they actually do this coaching service where basically Okay, so basically what they do is they let them send gameplays of their own game and yeah, basically they help them improve by giving some comments. So obviously, as you guys know, I'm not that great of a player. So definitely, I still have a lot to learn. So yeah, uh, if you guys actually enjoy this type of content, uh, definitely comment down be below. So yeah, this kind of a uh, uh, improvement feedback session where uh, I want you guys to open uh, give ideas and maybe I might not be able to implement all, but if I see something that I can actually do, I'm like sure why not. Then okay okay, there's another series that I might actually do is basically me just normal grinding for to S+, plus, etc, to hit top 100, something like that. But, obviously due to my work schedule, I can't really play so much, but... If you, if you guys also like this type of series, sure, um, definitely let me... Because like... Uh, when I post this type of videos, videos, right? Sometimes... It'll be like my normal grinding, so maybe I'll change up some characters, so you guys can see how... Maybe I, um, how I choose my team. Maybe you can see how what team I usually play. Then, um, based on that, think about how you how you want to play your team, etc. And okay, so since we are here, why not let's just do a box review? I'll say a box showcase. So, yep, this is my box. Okay, this video might be posted earlier than the... Okay, there's this Zoro summon. I... To be honest, I have no idea whether it's worth it or not, but... Like, to be honest, if you look at the rates, right? He's actually... 3% while the rest is 0.5%. So... This Zoro is... Very, very, very strong. Like, if you have played either the... Uh, in the league battles right and you have seen him as an opponent you know how annoying he is and basically his skills are very very good so yeah he's a very very good character and it's specifically rated up for him so i did some summons and i actually also summoned the scouts point i was like why not i had enough gems might as well just get the last uh, 150 ticket so obviously okay i'll link the i'll make i'll send the video in another okay never mind i think i'll link it to this video so yeah hopefully if you guys want to see some summons sure go ahead um you can stay all the way to the end of the videos so okay my box so recently i got the six star 30 million luffy I'll be doing another video on him. Okay, I know I did a video on him already, but maybe you guys want to see uh, how, how the 6-star would differ from the 5-star version. And yeah, a lot of people actually, if you grind hard, right, you can easily get this 
free characters easily. And yeah, so this Sabo, yep, he's 6 star. I actually got him. I spent like the last 50 gems or something, and I got like two copies of him. One was Duke, and I got him to 6 star. He's actually not so bad, but. He's not the like he's not the S plus character but he's a definitely a decent S character. Okay, so um My croc, I'm only 38 shots left and I'm not I didn't actually use my scout ticket, my second four star selectables on him. I used it on Mihawk because I had under a hundred shots for him and I don't want to waste that 200 free shots. So yeah, I went to get Mihawk and he's 94 now. So yeah, I was actually... Okay, tomorrow the league will end. So I was planning to get my Akainu to 6 star. But I was also figuring whether to get Law to 5 star or not. Because he's also one dupe away. Definitely let me know. Uh, who do you prefer? 6 star Akainu or 5 star Law? And yeah, my other plan was to because um, here's a leak. Uh, basically, Akainu might be up for the next Bounty Fest. As you guys know already, Kizaru will be the next for Bounty Fest character. And I got a feeling they'll do it like Sabo and Ace, where they put the 3 Emeralds and they rate them up and. It's just gonna be a bounty fest. 100% it's gonna be a trap. A Kainu, as good as he is at dealing damage, he's. I wouldn't say he's that worth to pull for a bounty fest unit. And there's no step out or, or usual. Unless you have enough to go for 150 points, summon points, or somewhere there so that the next time the banners, other banners come, you pull and you can hit that 150 points so besides that don't pull on the banner unless you are a really really good crazy uh kizaru fan obviously i'll be doing some summons i think just to show some shaft hopefully not but yeah and okay okay i think that's it for this video i really want to thank you guys again for the for all your support and yeah basically Sometimes the day is very, uh, sometimes my day can be quite gloomy and I can just hop on to YouTube and I saw that you guys say, uh, like, you guys like my videos, like, basically watching the view count go up, uh, was like one of my, it, it makes me pretty happy and yeah, I think as long as you guys want it, I'll continue making videos and Definitely let me know where I can improve on so you guys um, can enjoy the videos more and yeah I think that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you